Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that you should receive an email with the confirmation link. When confirming your email, you will be able to subscribe to different check your notification. I will show you later in the video. After the confirmation, you should receive your first welcome message from me. It contains a lot of essential check your information, such as short video you're watching right now, links to the free Python books, and so on. You may want to save this email for future reference. Let's get back to the checker. The landing page of checker is a map with floating islands. Each island contains a set of coding puzzles, which we call missions, and by solving those missions, you can get more and more islands open. Let's start with the first mission, Multiply Intro. This mission aims to show you how the solving process works. But before we jump into it, I wanted to show you a small translation panel that helps you to see the mission description in different languages. You can also set a chosen language as a default language. For the current demo, let's get back to the English version. Actually, users of Czechia create the translation. So if you didn't find a translation you want, feel free to provide it user GitHub repository of the mission. I don't want to dive deep into the process of improving the mission. You can simply check the article How to improve the mission, where you can find how to improve the mission descriptions, tests, hints, and how to add mission translation. Almost every mission on Checker requires writing a function that solves a given problem. For the multiply mission, your goal is to create a function mult underscore 2, which multiplies two given arguments. In the code editor, we already have predefined code with an empty function. As you can see, it returns none, but should return the correct answer. Some prints so it will be easier to debug how your function works. And the set of asserts test the returned value of your function for the given arguments. You have two main buttons, run code and check solution. The first one shows the result of running, with the second one system check your solution with some extra tests. Let's see what run shows. The result of prints and the first assert at the line 8 fails. Let's try to trick the mission and return 6 as the first assert requires. You see, now the second assert at the line 9 fails. I hope that gives you a, some understanding of how asserts work. Now let's solve the mission, check solution. Looks like it's correct. Right after success solving, it scrolls you down to the best solution from each category. Solution from other users are the most beautiful part of Checker, and you can learn a lot from those solutions. By the way, you are able to disable this scrolling behavior in the editor's settings. Let's briefly check what we see here, because we will return to that part later in this video. In the clear category, you can see that simply importing that function from built-in model also works. The creative category shows that you can borrow that function from int. The third-party solution shows how NumPy can help you. And the scary solution? Ok, we will skip that part. By the way, the scary category is not for every mission. For other missions, we have also Speedy category that aims to collect solution optimized by speed. It's enough for multiply mission. Let's go to the next one. Congratulations! We have received our first badge. Great start! And many more will be received in the game. Our next mission is Number Length. The sign before the mission description says that we have prepared an editor's choice solution for you. That means that our editors choose the most unique and interesting solution out of all of the submitted and put those into the specific filter. 
Still, you will be able to change the filter and see all of the available solutions. As you can see, the mission description is much shorter here. We should find the length of the given number. For this mission, I also want you to show how the hints work. The hints are built progressively, one by one. We give you more and more ideas to get to the correct solution. The first hint shows the general idea. The second is links, where you can find more information. The third one is directly linked to the function you might want to use, and so on until to the right solution. The predefined solution has the same structure – empty function, prints, and asserts. Let's solve it as it's suggested in hints, using str and len functions. Run, check. After that, we can see the solution of other users. Clear in the same way as we did. Creative, using log10 function. Interesting. Third party, using log10 from NumPy. We can share our own solution, even if it's that simple. Before sharing, you need to choose a category for sharing. After solving the mission, the system shows you the best solution from every category, but it's not all the shared solution. Let me show you the other solution and some other functionality around those. When you enter the category, it shows you editor's choice solution first, as it was explained before. But you can check other solution by switching to the all filter. When you follow users on Checker, you can find their solution and solution they like under the links following and likes by following accordingly. Every solution has tags. Tags show the most interesting keywords or functions that have been used for that solution. But if you click on any of those tags, you will see the search function will be available starting with level 2, which you are close to. In the email we send you, you can find a link to the available list of tools on each level. Level 2, search, level 3, activity and so on. So you need level 2 to get the search function. Let's check the profile page to see how far you are from level 2. The profile page shows your level, how much experience you have right now and how much is left to the next level. It looks like you have only 5 points left. It's basically one more mission to solve. But while we are here, let me show you what you can find in your profile as well as in profile of other users. After the level, you see some self-describing general information. Open islands, your progress in using Python, means which part of Python have been used in your shared solution. If you click to that percentage, you can see all of the keywords we track and what you should do to get to the next stage. The slight limitation we have here is that we can track only keywords from your shared solution. So if you want to progress here, you need to share more of your solution. Let's get back. Pages, of course, missions you have solved, solution you have shared, and your timeline. At the right side you can find graph of your progress in the game and the generic link to the described section in profiles. But we also have points to show where you get points in the game and edit to change your profile. Let's check the edit page. API code is for check your client configuration, which I will show later. We have demonstrated default mission language at the beginning of this video. Your chosen difficulty. By the way, the difficulty changed the order of the mission, but all of the mission will still be on the map. Email digest 
You can subscribe to receive all of the new notification and activities. A group of notification you can receive directly on your email. Also, there is a main settings where you can change personal information about yourself. That's it for now. Let's back and solve one more mission to get to level 2. First word simplified where you should return the first word from the given sentence. I will solve it very quickly and we will go to the best solution. As you can see, we get to the level 2 with the search function. Let's check the search tool now. For example, if you find a solution with lambda and want to find other solution with lambda, it will show you those solutions, but you are always limited with solution you can access. The more mission you solve, the more solution you have access to. You can also add an extra filter to show only solution from the current mission. You can bookmark some of those so you can find those solution in the bookmark section of your profile or in the left menu. I usually bookmark interesting solution that are unclear yet, but I want to look at those closely later. Just in case, you can also find the search function as well as bookmarks at the left menu. That should be it. That the learning circle on Checker. You solve the mission and learn from the solution of other. Following other colors is one more thing you want to have on Checker that definitely improves your learning curve. Let's say you like someone's solution. You like the style, you may want to follow that user as you follow users on Twitter. For example, this user has an interesting solution. And let's find another one to follow. Yes, Weki has an interesting solution as well as high level, which means he has a lot of missions solved already. Now, when you solve the mission, you can see all of the solution from colors you follow and solution they like. Let's open the mission we have already solved. As you can see, for that mission, we have two solutions that have been done by users you follow, and both you haven't seen yet. Let's check those solutions. Starting from level 3, you have an activity page available, which allows you to see the aggregated timeline of all of the users you follow. So, I strongly recommend following other users, which would help you find some hidden diamonds on Checker. As a bonus track, I also wanted to show you some of the features of Checker Editor. On the panel with Run and Check, you can find a sub-menu. You can switch to the full screen mode of your editor in case you need more space and you don't want to be distracted. You can reset your code to initial if your solution goes wrong way too far and you want to start from scratch. You can format your code before sharing the solution. Let's make it a little bit dirtier and see what happens when we format it. Now the code looks much better to read. Isn't it handy? The settings. You can change the color scheme of your editor. I'm more fan of dark version. For the code section, everything is self-describing after close brackets and quotes and highlighting the same word. Highlighting words can be helpful to see the same variable used in the code. There might be the case that you don't want to see the best solution right after the successful check because you want to think about your own creative solution first. In that case, those two options are for you. The first one disables auto-scroll to the best solution. And the second one hides the best solution for you in the editor. But you will be able to get to the best solution through the right menu or from the bottom panel. And the last option I wanted to show you is extensions. The extensions section explain you how 
how to install Checkio client. The tools allow you to solve Checkio problems locally without using a web editor. Let me show you how that works. I assume you have Python installed locally, at least version 3.8. First, I prepare a virtual environment for the client. Technically, you might want to use global environment, but I prefer a virtual environment for my experiments. Now we can copy comments from the extension description. Install the client. Authorization and configuration. During configuration process, you will be asked about the folder where the solutions are stored. It's important to choose an empty or new folder for that. After configuration, you can sync the solution. Now you can see that all of the solutions are in the chosen folder. Let's open the folder in the code editor. As you can see, the description is in the file with solution, so you can read and solve even without opening Check.io. You can run and check your solution locally in different ways. By executing the source file for running the code or with the check attribute check the solution, you can check the solution using the mission slack. The client will find the file for the checking in the sync folder. Instead of slack, you can use file name. I also wanted to show you how Check Your Clan can be integrated with the web code editor. The easiest way to do it is by launching the Checkout server locally and reload the page. Edit the source code, save it and switch to the browser. You can now see all of the changes applied in the web editor. It works in both ways. Changes from the web editor will be applied to local files as well. The checker client is configurable. Config show shows you the current configuration. The conf indicates overwritten options. The configuration is stored in the config file in home folder. You can edit the configuration directly in the file or using common config set. Let's set up our favorite code editor. I prefer to use a sublime text. You can double check the configuration to make sure the changes are applied correctly. Restart the server to apply a new configuration. Now let's try to open a new mission. And as you can see in the right panel, we have a direct link to your local file by clicking on which you have the code editor open with that file. Even if you edit the solution without web editor, you are still able to sync your solution with the server using the sync command. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching that far. I hope that was useful. And see you on Checkout.